Hello everybody, this is Dan with Dan's Everyday Outdoors and today we're going to go out to the woods and we're going to make something and we're going to cook something. Steak, potatoes with onions on a cast iron grill. And it's in my backpack, it's heavy, uh, but we're not staying overnight. So we should be good. Come join me, it's going to be a lot of fun. Well, there sure is plenty of firewood out here, that's for sure. Most of it's wet. It's been raining almost every day. And um, well, it's hot and humid today. So uh, we'll see. We'll see how we do, especially the little stove. Little stoves are hard to uh, keep a fire going in when it's wet. If I had a big fire, you just start, you, once you get enough heat on there, you pretty much can dry up, up a bunch of wood and you can um, then cook from it. Uh, cook from it, I don't have time to put out the fire and wait for it to burn down. We're gonna go out there it's going to be once I build everything it's going to be a, a fairly quick cook and then I've got some other things I need to do today so I'll be getting back out of the woods uh, to get those things done so just a simple go in build something eat something come back out and just like that it's raining again but I think there is a high chance of thunder showers today if you got to go out might as well go out in the rain right so Hopefully this is about the harder rain it gets. Otherwise it may dampen what I plan on doing today. Back here I'm a little disoriented. But this is another great spot to set something up. Let me look around here real quick. Just got to figure out where exactly am I. There's a slight clearing over there. We're on top of a hill here. Check this out, what do we got over here? We're almost to our site, I think. Wow, look at these. Look at those. Those are huge. The bugs haven't gotten in, look how big that is, my hand. Wow. Might be coming back for these. I think I will be. Tomorrow. Another one right there. Oh, oh my goodness, look what I just found. Oh, yeah. Cauliflower, cauliflower mushroom. This is good. This won't cook down to much, but I think it's enough. Plus, I've got the coral that I just found earlier. There's got to be some more growing here. I don't see any more. That's it. That's like the only one. And this is a little bit more of a mature one too. It's just larger. About a big clump. And that was next to an oak tree. The roots of an oak tree. A live oak tree that looks like it's starting to die. Alright. Awesome find. Yeah. This is very... This, I don't think there's anything else that looks like this. A cauliflower mushroom. They're safe to eat. It's fragrant. I just got to wash out the um, debris out of there and then cook it down. <laughs> oh, it's going to be so good with the steak and onions and potato. Oh, I, okay, I get this. I got to get this table built so we can eat. That was a lot longer hike than I thought it was going to be. This is uh, quite a ways back here. And I think I just found the spot where we were the other day. And we'll get started. Now this is what I brought with me. Tripod. Over here. Camera bag. So this is some of my seasoning and uh, my spatulas. I'm just going to lay it out for you. This is in case it starts raining harder. Got a, I'm not going to have time for that, probably. Got a pan and another pan. So this is what I'm going to be cooking from these today. Got my stove. Hatchet, some gloves. That's all I need. Brought along some number... 12 bank line 
It's a number 36 bank line. Oddly enough, this stuff's getting more expensive than paracord. He's been using this since I was a kid, just because it didn't rot. And here we have the cauliflower mushroom and the coral mushroom. Add to our steak. Nice find. Actually, kind of a rare find for this. By the way, this is my food. My steak and onions, I can smell the onions now. Uh, that I hung here as a bright way to try to see where camp was as I went out foraging. I was actually, wait a second. <laughs> I think that was one right there. I was actually foraging to find some more of that cauliflower mushroom. It actually does this little tiny bit right there. But, um, and I hung this there so I could kind of get a visual as I went out straight lines in different directions. Or so I thought it was straight lines. But in the woods, it's, uh, you, you get turned around easily. So it's, it's nice to always look back at it and try to see if I can get a visual. pieces. I'm going to come back and do this properly another day. Today, because I'm running out of time, I just want to get something real simple up here. I kind of figure I may not want to use this, this area, but I get a platform to cook on. Take this out. Why is he even going to pull this tag off? I have no idea why I haven't taken it off yet. I've used this thing several times. I, I was going to do bushcraft box today but I just felt it was too much stuff going on I do have a new one I've had it for a while but this one's very easy to set up basically just pop it and I shake it Oops. and um, I'm going to slide this in from the side that's my ash pan and catch my ashes I'm going to try to cook on this surface right here Everything's plenty wet right now, so I'm not worried about any fires. I am going to cook with this door open. Maybe I should set it like this. Got some tin foil in there just in case. I don't think I'm going to need that today. But let's go ahead and get this fire started. There we go. That's pretty dry. Oh, don't hit the ground. So I've hired the dryer, but I gotta find some dead stuff that just snaps. There we go. Let's find a bunch, let's grab this whole branch right here. There we go, we'll break that up. Bunch of little twigs here for my fire. Keep this going. Even as it's been raining out, I still found a nice snap. So, so I'm gonna bake up a bunch of pieces of these. The nice thing about these little stoves is you can pretty much get them going anywhere. The bad thing is sometimes they're a little finicky when you got damp wood. So if it's not gonna, that doesn't snap, that's not easy. I'm not using that. And then see how this snaps. That's a little wet on the outside. That's dry though. Let me, we'll set this around the base and then it'll dry up. As we uh, as we get this fire going, 
All right, let's put these in here. Got a couple of pieces from my base. And get the fire going. A little bit of fat wood I've got. I'm just going to shave off some pieces of that. That's enough for me. I know you've seen me use this before. I'll use it today again. So lighter, may or may not use. I've got a striker in here, some of the little things and but little pocket bellow. Love it. Little pocket knife. Sometimes I said I keep saying this, sometime I want to show you this little kit. Basically, throw it a backpack. I got some a lot of the basics that I need with cordage. I got some cover in here. I've got some um, you some things to light some fire with and even have some bags to put water in and water purification tablets. Alright, I got the door on the side here. I can just reach around. It makes it a lot easier. And then I get the fire going. going. I don't want to have to relight this fire so I'm going to throw a bunch of these in here and I've got plenty to keep it going. While I got this fire going I'm going to go start cleaning up the um, the cauliflower mushrooms and the coral mushrooms. I'm just going to go ahead and cut the base off this one and then separate them out This actually might be enough for all of it. Pull, I'm just going to pull these leaves apart, throw them in this pot, and then I'll rinse them out, and then we'll start cooking them. I like to separate these because they're a little bit fibrous, and sometimes if you bite into them, then they're kind of like stringy, like on a hamburger you would pull, it would uh, be stringy. And this, we cut them smaller pieces, then you can eat it better. Fire's going a little bit too good now, I can't put the pan on there yet. Clean up just a little bit more. I think our fire's almost, I want to keep it at where it has coals in it. And it's burning, but not to where it's starting to go out. It's a, it's a fine line with these things. So I think once I get these cleaned up and in the pan, so what you're doing is you're pulling out a little bit of debris, like that's a leaf. If you don't mind eating leaves, you can leave that. I can't believe I found these. These are so good. <laughs> what a find. See, all that does is pulls out some of the debris. A little bit of debris right there. All right, now. Let's get this on the fire. What I'm doing is putting some heat, uh, once I can, if I press these mushrooms down, it helps release their moisture better. I'll typically use uh, two cast iron pans to do this, but now I feel like carrying one into the woods today. We'll just let that heat up and cook for a good uh, two or three minutes. I want you to see that. You see the weight there is pushing all, pushing those down. That way, all the moisture is being released out of them. 
saves you some time. I just, like I put a could use a rock on this. Just a couple minutes that will do it. Trying to get some coals in there. I'm just looking underneath here, making sure that the ash pan is holding the ashes. And the nice thing about this, when we're done, while we're eating, I'm going to be able to just let this burn. It'll burn out, and I can pack it up when I'm done. Pull this out. And there we go. Now he's got to cook off. So when this water cooks off, once this water cooks off out of this pan, um, we're going to start with our seasoning. And I'll put my onions in there as well, I guess now, because I was going to saute my onions before anyways. But I'll start adding some um, garlic and some seasoning, things like that to this. And some onions. Pre-cut, of course. There you go, some tip sirloin. That's what we're eating today. Angus. That right there. I was going to do potatoes too, but we still don't have time for those to cook. I do have onions. And, and some seasoning. Let's put that garlic in there first, actually. Got a bunch of garlic. That garlic cooked down. Oh, that smells good. I'm glad it stopped raining. There well, for a while I thought it was going to be pouring down rain out here and it would kind of change our plans what we we're going to do. For now we got this temporary table in place until I figure out what I'm going to do permanently out here. It's a little bit wobbly so I might need a thicker table or larger cross piece of wood. While this is starting to cooking down, I'm going to start cleaning some things up because once I eat, I got to go. So, what, but I want to do this. I'm, I'm already not being able to cook you guys those cubed up potatoes like I did in that other video. Um, I'll put the link, maybe I'll put the link up here. Or I'll put the link in the description. So what I'm going to do is add a little bit of oil and I'm going to put the steaks on now. A little bit more oil in here in the pot. And that'll keep it from burning as well. And then what I'm gonna do is I wanna sear these. I wanna hot pan them. I need some more heat on this thing. Constantly feeding it, constantly feeding it. The campfire's much better if you can use it because you can get a good bed of hot coals and. It stabilizes your fire. Let's go ahead and get this steak on here. Again, I'm gonna I want to pan sear it. Pan okay, let's pan sear it. Nice and hot. Seared on that side, not as hot as I wanted it to be. Seared on that side. I'm also going to sear the sides of the steak real quick. I don't want to overcook. These are small pieces. I don't want to overcook them. I want lots of butter. This is going to give it a great taste. That butter in there, that steak, Garlic. Let me give you a look at this real quick. Look at that. Oh, yeah. All that butter. Ooh, in there. Put these over. I think they're done. They're not seared like I wanted them to be. But actually, we're done. We're done with that. Let me show you this thing. Pan gets too hot. There you go. Look at that. Let's eat. I'll let this fire 
I just burn out now. It won't take long. Let's set this on the ground. It's getting hot. And there it is. Mushrooms. Onions and steak. I ran out of time to do the potatoes. That would have been a pretty glorious meal. <laughs> glorious. It's funny. Very good though. I'm just going to go ahead and eat. I'm going to eat. I'm going to pack up and head out of here. And um, I'll catch you guys next time. So this is Dan with Dan's Everything Outdoors, and thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Please click the like button. Hit that notification bell, and I'm going to get some more videos out to you all. Try to give myself a little more time in these woods so I can do these things right. But enjoyed having you here. Thank you so much. Um, until next time, see you later.